Hello, and welcome to the introduction to Diazo. My name is Chrissy Wainwright. So for those of you who are unfamiliar with Diazo, it is a theming approach for various content management systems. It allows you to map the dynamic content from that CMS to a static theme. And Plone uses this with a product called Plone App Theming. Now the history of Diazo use in Plone, originally it was called Deliverance, and then there was a thing called XTV, and it is now called Diazo. Specifically in Plone, this uses Plone App Theming for Plone 4. Uh, if you are using Plone version 4.0, it is not compatible. If you're using Plone 4.1, you have to add Plone App Theming to the build out to be able to use it. Uh, starting in Plone 4.2, it was included, it just needs to be activated. And in Plone 4.3, uh, Plone App Theming it is version number 1.1, and it includes an advanced editor directly within Site Setup. So we can go take a look at that. And go to your Plone site and Site Setup. We'll activate Plone App Theming in Add-ons. And you'll see that it is called Diazo Theme Support. Now at this point you may also need to install your theme or activate your theme if, if it is not already activated. So once that has been activated I can go to theming with Insight Setup and see any Diazo themes that I have installed in the site. So if I want to activate one I can just click the activate button. Now I don't see those changes here because as this mentions that uh, this control page is never themed. Just in case you completely break your site you can always come here and deactivate a theme. And so now I have a themed Plone site. If you're starting from scratch you can use a package that's called theme. This can be found on GitHub and this includes an instructions on how to get it uh, installed in your build out so that you can run it and create a theme. Now this will give you the whole structure that you need for the Diazo theme. And it will look something like this. Here I have one that I created called Plone Theme.Education. You can see in the folder structure here there's a folder called Diazo Resources. And I've already filled this in with um, a lot of the files that I'm going to need, but the important ones will be the index.html. Now this is your static theme. The rules.xml that decides how the content from Plone is put into this theme. And the manifest.cfg that contains just information about this theme, the title, description, uh, also can provide a preview image that is seen in the Diazo theming control panel. And once that's installed in your build out, uh, you can activate that theme in Site Setup. So if you want to view one of your files in the static site, the URL will look something like this. It'll have the your Plone site, port number if you're looking at it locally, this is the Plone site name, uh, but the important thing here is the plus plus theme plus plus, uh, the name of your Diazo theme folder, uh, this is set in a configure.zcml, and then your index.html or whichever file you're looking at. You can check the theming control panel for that URL. So if I go back um, to my theme settings, advanced here this is showing me, here's the name of the absolute path prefix, that's that plus plus theme, plus plus. Uh, this one, particular one is called demo theme. And then after that I can put a slash and look at any of my static resources directly in the browser. So for example, if I want to look at the rules to XML, uh, here it is. you can learn more at diazo.org 
and also find more trainings like this one at sixfeetup.com slash diazo.